we were going on and on about getting a canoe, and then they were like, nope. We're going to have a kayak. We're going to get a kayak. I don't know. I feel like a canoe would have been fine. I just feel like I haven't canoed in a while, and they seem easier. But she recommended... Sorry, a bunch of cars are coming by. Just in case we thought you thought we were in a quiet, serene place. Should we go all the way down there? Well, it is right on the road. Maybe we should go in there. What do you reckon? Uh, but yeah, anyways, kayaks, I guess, are easier. I'm not going to be helpful right now, even though we should be. Okay, putting this away. We are Becca and Matt, and we are currently traveling the United States in a 13-foot camper with our two cats, Grace and Peach. We started in California and are currently making our way to the east towards North Carolina. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. See you next week. Who has the best seat in the car? I think this diva. Look at her. See, it's not so bad. It's not so bad being in the car. We haven't driven two minutes and we're already at a rest stop so someone can use the bathroom and so I can drive. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding about the first part, but we have found that it's better in our relationship as a team if I drive and he navigates. It is what it is. So here we go. There he is. Finally. M&M's. Nice. We're headed to... Where are we headed? Uh, Tomoka State, I think it is. In Southwest 147th Tomoka Street. Anyways, it's north of Fort Pierce. I think a little bit east of Orlando. South of Jacksonville. How's that? Almost there. State Park. Woo -hoo. Sunday night Super Bowl. Woo -hoo -hoo. Can't wait to see those commercials. Eating the fries before I even get a chance. That might be a good spot. Stop. We just got to a beautiful campsite here in Tomoka State Park. Um, again, another random stop. They just happen to have vacancies for two nights, but I'm really excited. Grace investigating her new home. And here we are. Oh, chair set up fire pit picnic table but look at this greenery oh it's like a little jungle back here and this is how we're watching the super bowl tonight it's in nature Ooh, becca who do you have winning Saved by the screen. Making dinner during the Super Bowl game. Waiting patiently for the halftime. It got kind of chilly all of a sudden, so it was nice and cozy. Except, you know, me. I'm gonna complain about humidity here again. And the humidity makes it colder, I swear. But oh, gotta go. Super Bowl. So as you can see. We're in Matt's kitchen. Here we got the Super Bowl going on. We got the human food next to the cat food <laughs> next to the 
human bowls. <laughs> hey, but there's fruit up there and toothbrushes. <laughs> it's Florida. It was in the 70s today. It's now maybe in the 50s. And I already made myself some hot chocolate. Favorite part of being cold is the warm drinks. <laughs> But tomorrow, the high will be in the 50s, so it is going to be actually kind of chilly here in the next few days, which I'm not complaining about, believe it or not. The heater will probably be on, though, later. But Grace and I are just ending the night with a little bit of YouTube, some hot chocolate, which I talked about earlier. We get it. I like hot chocolate. And then tomorrow, we're going to try to go maybe rent a canoe or a kayak and explore the state park. So, see you then. Good night. It's a cold morning. What's the temperature? Brick. <sighs> I think it was in the 40s earlier. 45. 45. And it's 54 in here. Stop complaining. Uh, oh, it's 54 in here. And it's a sign when the windows are all misty from the heater. But I have to say, I sleep really good when it's cold like this. And we have our heater if it gets too cold. Except now I'm a baby and I don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> Anyways, good morning. First attempt at making pancakes in the tiny camper. Will it be a disaster? We shall see. <laughs> Got it. Oh, we don't have a spatula. One of three utensils we have with us. What we are witnessing on this rare occasion of Valentine's Day. Me cooking. That might come to a surprise to a lot of you because you know I'm known for being such a chef. No, you're not. <laughs> I didn't know why you were looking at me like that. <laughs> but anyways, I will have to say that um, I have not been super inspired to cook in this tiny space. I'm a little bit of a need freak. Anyway, so Matt has been taking the lead very well, I will have to say, but today I woke up feeling like having pancakes and we will do it and we will be strong. When are you going to cook them? <laughs> I'm waiting on the CEO. <laughs> this is why I don't do this. Be careful, everybody. All right, a little too much oil. <sighs> Using the Kodiak pancake mix. Turns out I do really like them. I don't usually like products with protein powder in them, but these are good and they keep you full longer. So all that's missing is like chocolate chips, but I don't think we have any. It's okay though, it's okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Three for three? Oh, almost. Right, almost. We'll take it. Yeah. Woo! <clears throat> These first few might taste a little bit like chicken noodle soup. You get real lazy with cleaning. <laughs> Mmm, chicken noodle flavor. Mm -hmm. My favorite. All right, first batch done. A little bit more olive oil. We don't have any butter. Don't yell at me. <sighs> Jesus, wait for you. Oh, shit, I forgot you were down there. She's like, do it. Definitely a test. This is a test. I'm <laughs> failing. Peanut butter? Snuggle muffin? Uh oh. Don't turn the heat down and then expect it to cook faster. What's everyone drinking in the morning? I got a black tea. English breakfast to be exact. Are you team coffee or tea? Let us know below. And that way we'll know if you watch this part. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Okay, first round was better. And then pat your pancakes like a little baby's bum. That's another thing. Only one person can be standing. Not too many chefs in the kitchen. At the same time. The other one has to be on the bed or on the dinette, which you'd think wouldn't be that tough, but surprisingly more of a challenge. Welcome to Matt's workshop. I just got booty. Here we're making amazing pancakes. What are you doing today? Who watched the Super Bowl last night? Oh, wow. Thank you. And maple syrup. All right, here's the finished product. We added some peanut butter, bananas, and maple syrup. Yes. And love. And love. That's why it doesn't look very... Well, I was going to say it doesn't look very good because of peanut butter, but now <laughs> it's going to sound like because of the love. And this is our little seating, seating area. Stop. <laughs> Independent. Just in her little jungle. We have migrated to the picnic table. Big old world out here. She is so not amused with me. Ooh, we went up one. We went up even higher. And that's our extra litter boxes. They said traveling with Cass was easy. I have a few thoughts about that. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day today as you can see and we're having a late start to our day but the plan is to go canoeing or kayaking for a couple hours and then maybe go watch the sunset and yeah that's it so let's get going I'm tired of waiting on somebody 10 hours later let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go sun's already starting to set it's fine Oh my god, look who's taking so long. Start the car. <laughs> Pedal to the metal, Becky Sue. Hold on tight. I gotta go canoeing. Just getting pumped up. <laughs> yeah. Ain't she some? <laughs> You're tuning live into the Maddie Moon and Becky Sue show. Woo! Alright, we'll meet you there. <laughs> Headed to the Tomoka outpost. To get our canoes for a whopping forty dollars an hour well for the first hour ten dollars for every additional hour which means we have to do it for at least two hours to get our money's worth i i don't know is that crazy i feel like well hold on off-roading we're back off-roading was quite the experience uh two flat tires a couple missing cats we had the cats what cats <laughs> maybe we'll see another armadillo Armadillo. Here is our kayak. As you can see, it's not a canoe. She recommended a kayak for today. So here we are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess I need this paddle, don't I? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. We only have um, an hour till we have to bring it back. And that never sounds like enough, but you know, paddling is just so tiring. <laughs> I just don't know if I have more than an hour in me. <laughs> We have a bad reputation of upsetting wildlife when we kayak. Remember the otters? 
<laughs> we accidentally um, couldn't stop going towards them. <laughs> and the otters literally pushed off our kayak to get away. Um, yeah, our bad. We weren't trying to do it. We just couldn't stop. So if you're watching this otter, my friend. <laughs> yeah, our bad. Otter family. Bad otter, bro. last two three times we went kayaking i believe i did all the work so i think now it's time to <laughs> get us out of the bush <laughs> shut up okay you know i struggle you're steering back there i am the engine <laughs> that's right everyone he was gonna hit me with the paddle and this is a good day <laughs> oh well, look what bush we almost hit. All done successful kayaking trip even got a keychain out of it for tipping um <laughs> little things to get excited about and now where are we heading to ormond ormond all right let's go <laughs> all right we um <clears throat> you know <laughs> we're a little hungry so we did not film the rest of our evening. We got dinner at a place in Daytona Beach. It was okay, nothing special. Seemed like a local burger, bar, dive kind of place. But now we're back and it's another chilly night. It's supposed to be a low in the low 40s, upper 30s. So, so cozy, we got a little heater going. And yeah, I just wanted to not leave you guys hanging because I know you were wondering what we were eating and drinking. And anyway, someone wants me to show you there a moment true love grace are you happy mm, debatable okay so tonight is our last night sadly at the state park tomorrow we pack up and make our way to jackson florida technically i think we're in georgia jackson but the camp jacksonville <laughs> sorry thank you jacksonville florida i'm sure those are jackson florida anywho that's our plan for tomorrow so i'll catch you then we'll catch you then night today has been a slow morning as we enjoy our last night or our last morning in tomoka state park we are sadly leaving but we're actually going to be leaving florida today just over the border into georgia but right now we're still here we're still enjoying ourselves and we're about to go for a little walk around the campground 
So we're having some MacBook, MacBook troubles. Um, Matt's laptop decided to just not turn on anymore and we kind of need our laptops. So today on our way to our next stop, we're gonna stop at a place where they can look at it and then hopefully they can fix it today. Otherwise we have to make the drive back because it's kind of not really close to our campground. But anyway, so that's just what we're going on with today. But otherwise, it's still a good day. We're here till wine, which is really nice. It's a late checkout. Um, so I thought I'd show you where we're going. So this is a big old map of Florida. And we are currently right here somewhere. Armand Beach is not far from us. And then we had um, dinner, dinner last night at Daytona Beach. And we came from down here somewhere <laughs> but anyways we were here for a couple nights and now we're driving all the way up through Jacksonville and actually staying at a KOA right in St. Mary's which I believe is technically Georgia so we'll be leaving Florida officially today which is sad but we'll be back it's time to pack up so I thought I'd show you how it looks now um, video we're patiently waiting to upload. All right, let's go. First, let's clean up the kitchen. <laughs> all right, all that's left is a cat and her food bowl and water because she's using it, but everything's cleared here. And then actually the bed will get messier for the car ride. We basically throw everything on here so that it doesn't get thrown around or break. And miraculously, Grace appears in the scene again. Everything basically from the closet goes on the bed, plus the kern rods because they fall during the drive, and then cat food and our tea kettle. All right, I just cleaned the litter box so it's nice and clean. Trash is ready to go, and I'll do a quick vacuum. And then all that's left is the girls. And they already know what's happening, so they're acting stressed even though we've done this a million times. All right, we're all set up. Matt's just hitching us up. We had a small scare. Peach got out of the car and she's tough to catch, but we got her. So, day's still going good, still going good. Then a boy cat came obviously to investigate. But anyways, let's go. Already? Yeah. And last but not least, we lock it. We use double lock because we don't really trust this old door on oh, some of these bumpy roads. And you gotta also push in to get locked. All right. Whoops. Ready and go. The car smells like cat food and stinky feet and wetness and food and cats. <laughs> it's all right though, it's part of it. Girls, Peach. 